Hey guys, Eric Tarr here for ProToolsTemplates.com. I want to show you an example of one of the templates I created to give you a better idea about what's going on. To begin with, you should know that each template is unique in several ways. I use a different set of samples in each one, I use different signal processing and plugin chains for each one, and I also use different signal routing inside of Pro Tools for each one. Therefore, each template is going to sound unique. You can also learn new tips and tricks just by looking at each one of the templates. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the template I've got pulled up right now. This is a template for a drum mix. I'm making use of Native Instruments Studio Drummer as my virtual instrument. That runs inside a contact. Let me go ahead and pull up this plugin and look at it further with you. So all that I've done is load one of the stock kits that runs inside a Studio Drummer. I've selected the initialize preset for the mixer such that there is no processing of the samples taking place inside a Studio Drummer. All the processing of the samples uh, is happening outside of contact in my Pro Tools session. The only thing that I've changed from the preset is I went into the individual instruments and changed the relative level of bleed down each one of the microphone channels to suit my preference for this template. Next, let's switch back to the Pro Tools session. So what I've done is split out each one of these microphone channels onto their own auxiliary track here in the Pro Tools session. Then what I can do is dial in a specific plugin chain to suit that individual instrument on each one of these auxiliary tracks. So I've added equalizers and compressors for my kick drum and my snare all separately. Another thing that I've done is added uh, auxiliary sends to do things like parallel compression, parallel overdrive. That's happening over here in my uh, master drum bus section. On top of the Native Instruments Studio Drummer Library, I'm also using Battery 4 from Native Instruments. What this is going to do is complement the acoustic samples from Studio Drummer by adding in, in battery some electronic samples. What that's going to do is create that hybrid sound of drums that's popular in uh, pop music these days. So what I've done is created a template that's a good starting point for you, whether you're writing music, whether you're recording, or whether you're mixing. It's dialed in a uh, pretty good sound to begin with. But what you can still do is go in after the fact and tweak the samples however you'd like. If you want to change the EQ, if you want to change the compression, you want to add in more of your own effects, you can do all that. If you want to change the relative level of these things, it's all up to you to do. But it gives you a good starting point to work with. If you want to expand this Pro Tools session, you know, that's one easy way to do it if you want to start in adding other instruments and stuff like that. Another thing that I've done to accommodate that is the fact that I know if you start expanding this Pro Tools session, adding in lots more plugins, your computer's processor might not be able to handle it. So what I did is create these audio tracks over here. These ones are identical to the auxiliary tracks that are being fed from the Studio Drummer library. So all you'd have to do is make these tracks active and then record on them and record the actual audio coming out of Studio Drummer and just store it as an audio file. Then you can make the instrument track of Studio Drummer inactive so that's not wasting your plugin resources. You're still going to get the exact same uh, dialed in sound because the plugins and the routing is identical on these audio tracks to these auxiliary tracks over here. It's just a matter of uh, you using it however best serves you and uh, makes your computer happy uh, not wasting resources. The last thing I'll show you then is for each one of the templates I've created custom MIDI files. These are not MIDI files that are found in Studio Drummer or any of the other libraries. These are MIDI files that I created myself using my own uh, eDrum kit where I played in the MIDI, chopped them up so you have an intro, you have a verse, chorus, everything laid out for a song. You can make use of these MIDI files if you want. Uh, that's just part of the package that you get. Uh, or you can just layer in your own MIDI files. If you don't want to use these, just drag your own MIDI files in and make use of those uh, to go along with uh, the template that I've created. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about the templates that you get as part of these Pro Tools templates. Check out the other sound files and the other videos on the website. And thanks again for checking out ProToolsTemplates.com.